Hello, and welcome back to London Cycle Routes. Today, I'll be showing you how to cycle from Southgate in North London to Edmonton. This ride takes about 20 minutes, and you can do the whole thing on quiet streets and protected cycle lanes. By public transport, this journey probably takes about half an hour, so cycling is probably the quickest way to do it. If you find this video useful, or you just enjoy watching it, then please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, as I post new ones like it every week. Alright, let's get going. So we're starting on Southgate High Street, and we immediately want to turn in to go down a road called Meadway. This is a quiet residential street, and it's an entry point into a low traffic neighbourhood called the Fox Lane Low Traffic Neighbourhood, uh, that was put in by Enfield Council. And you can see just here, we're going through this... Uh, those planters there they've got signs on them saying no entry for motor vehicle traffic and um, there are filters like that all over this area that we can pass through but cars and other things can't they have to go a different route so as a result you there's ways to drive in and you can access homes and things within the uh, within the cell but you cannot drive into it and then drive out of it from another way and that's how the effect of really really quietening down this whole area around Fox Lane which uh, we're just about to turn on to after Oakfield here um, d definitely download and consult or at least consult the uh, the digital map that I provide for this route just for this little first bit as it can be a little bit difficult to remember which roads to turn down until you get onto Fox Lane here um, if you need to download the map you can download it in uh, a link in the description and y you can see from this road you can see from the cross hatching in the middle of the road that this was probably until the low traffic neighborhood was put in uh, quite a fast road with quite a bit of through traffic on it uh, much to the detriment of the people who who lived on this street um, and also to anybody who wanted to cycle on it um, it's got you know it's got turning uh, lanes it's got cross hatching which is usually there for speed and uh, now there's basically no traffic on it and that's because of all these road closures for motor traffic down the side streets and there's really one if you look out on the right you can see that there is one on every turning and also on the railway bridge coming up ahead of us that we're just about to cross now we're coming to the end of the Fox Lane LTN and we're going to go into another low traffic neighbourhood in a second but to do that we have to go on the main road for a second. Fortunately Enfield has done a great job of putting cycle tracks on this road so um, you want to go out, wait for a gap in the traffic and then there's a dropped kerb just here in front of the food and wine shop and you can get up on the cycle track. Don't worry those traffic lights only apply to the main road, the cycle track goes behind them and we're only staying on for a little bit then you turn off down here onto Hazelwood Lane. And this leads us into the Connaught Gardens low traffic neighbourhood, which was also put in by Enfield Council. And I think it does a great job of uh, really quietening down these streets and uh, they're really, really pleasant to ride in. And I think uh, there is that, these two LTNs being next to each other are actually one of the reasons I wanted to do this route, because I wanted to illustrate how useful LTNs can be for making actually quite long journeys um, across town or you know semi-local journeys between town centers um, but only if you uh, but particularly not only but particularly if you link them together properly so there was a nice cycle track on the main road because it's rare that the streets and LTNs will line up and often getting between between them will uh, be difficult when I shot this video there was an extra road closure here just a bit of road work so um, it's good to if, if that's there when you do do dismount and just go around it on the pavement um, and then get back on your bike on the other side. Now um, we uh, we turn right here onto Connaught Gardens, the road itself, and uh, you might, as you approach here, hear the uh, hear a loud road, and you can see there's actually an extremely loud um, A road going along past us here. We're not actually on that road there. This is a service road, uh, an access road that runs parallel to that main highway, which is actually the North Circular, um, and uh, you know a lot of uh, a lot of the main roads have uh, access roads like this. One thing that's quite nice about this one, you, you often can't go in here on them by bike, but one thing that's quite nice about this one is whoever planned it out did quite a, quite a nice job in that they, uh, they actually connected uh, cycle paths at the end of it to connect to the other access roads. Um, I'm not a massive fan of <laughs> major highways like this, but if you're going to do them, stick a nice quiet access road on there with no through traffic and uh, it's quite a pleasant ride. And then you can actually connect to the next bit 
via this uh, this actually pretty decent cycle track uh, for when it's built. Be careful as you cross this road, it, it's signal controlled. And then we run into this other access road. And we're now at the Great Cambridge Junction, which is a, a massive uh, sort of uh, highway junction on the North Circular. And we would go around here and we're gonna go into something really quite special. Um, there's quite a lot of these actually, but people don't know them. If you see this junction from the top, it's uh, a big inhospitable motorway roundabout, but they've put this uh, really quite lovely little secret garden in the middle um, and these fantastic cycle tracks in which, you know, that's a great way. It's almost Dutch. Unfortunately, it doesn't really connect to much, but um, it's almost sort of the sort of cycle infrastructure you expect in the Netherlands. And I really think that's how big junctions should be done, a really nice underpass. Now, this bit, this is the worst bit of the route. It's a little bit shonky. So I've had to dismount here and we're just going to go through this alleyway. If anyone from Enfield Council is watching, it would be great to complete this route properly and have just a cycle access through the estate onto Kendall Avenue because this makes a really nice cycleway. Um, and this bit of Kendall Avenue, it's not actually officially a low traffic neighbourhood, but it does have no through traffic on this section of the road. Um, there is a section further up where we're not, where there is technically through traffic on it, some some through routes, but there's not really very much, so it doesn't bother us too much. And we're going, we're going north here on Kendall Avenue, and then we're, we'll turn the corner in a second, and uh, then we'll be heading east again. Uh, and uh, if you know your geography well, Edmonton is northeast. Of, uh, of where we started so we're going in the right direction if you check the map actually this is a pretty direct route um, it takes it's actually I think the route is actually I think more direct than the bus route which goes straight there so yeah we're now on Huxley Road and yeah this this bit it's not not technically a low traffic neighborhood there is technically some through traffic here but it's basically okay for us certainly for a short section of the route that we're going on if you like this video, by the way, please do hit subscribe on the channel. It really helps support the channel and it also helps you find uh, the new videos that I post and I do try and post new ones every week. Um, and uh, as I have mentioned before in this video, you can find a map of the route uh, just below the uh, the video in the description. And I also post links to a couple of other maps which I should mention. Um, one is the Safe Cycle London map, um, which is done by at Safe Cycle LDN on Twitter. And he's put together, it's a really fantastic resource that I used to plan this route. Um, and also thanks very much to John Levermore who put together a brilliant map of all the London cycle routes routes. So if you want to see a map of all the routes on this channel, you can look at that map and it'll uh, give you a link to the right video, which I know a lot of people have been asking for. So uh, thanks very much to him for that. That's a, a really great addition. Um, so we're coming up to the end of this street here and uh, watch as you cross the road. And we're going to cross this lovely named road called Sweet Briar Walk. And we are going to Pims Park and we're actually joining a, uh, a cycle route here, an official TFL cycle route called Cycleway 1. It's a very grand name, C1. So um, it takes us through this park initially. This is a shared path, so um, make sure you go really slowly here. It's, it's quite a narrow path, to be honest. Um, it would be a lot better if they've got the uh, the budget to do it, to stick a parallel cycle path along here, particularly if C1 gets busy. If they manage to connect C1 to Cycle Super Highway 1, which is a little bit further south, there's a gap. If that happens, it would be great to uh, widen that because I imagine the traffic along here, the cycle traffic will widen significantly. You come out of the park uh, and you go across that crossing and we're, we go onto Park Road. And this has actually uh, got a filter on it here. You can see it's been close to motor traffic, which makes it really quite a pleasant ride. It's, it's really, really quiet, um, really, really good. And uh, when we get to the end of this road, we turn left at the Capital Restaurant and we join this cycle track. Now, the first bit here is actually a bus stop. This is a bus stop border, and um, that I think a lot of people have a lot of issues with with that. I, th I think the reason that's there is probably a space issue, but basically the the cycle track runs through the bus stop. So make sure you go really dead slow there, because people will be trying to pull buses and stuff like that. Um, I, it's not an ideal way to construct a bus stop. The best way to do a bus stop is to run it behind, uh, is to run the cycle track behind the bus stop. But where there isn't space, putting the cycle track through the stop is probably the, uh, the second best, but very imperfect option. Um, there's another one here. Um, make sure again you go 
uh, as slow as you can as you go over those. Um, as you can see though, these uh, these cycle tracks, there's one on this side of the road and one on the other side of the road, are generally quite good. Um, motorists ignoring the giveaway lines accepted, that's really quite annoying. Um, I'm not really sure what you can do about that. Um, people just people in cars will basically stick their nose out into the track. And it doesn't matter that it's your right of way because they're coming from a minor road and you're on the major road because they're in a car <laughs> and they've got like several tons of metal behind them. So you really just have to take that one on the chin. Um, maybe there could be better enforcement. I don't know. Um, just coming up here is a much better way to do a bus stop. And I think they've done it this way because there was space. But you see there, there's an island there and a level, and a level thing across the track. Um, we're here now, Edmonton Green Station. You can see on the left, by the way, nice cycle parking facility. Um, but that was the route. Um, thanks very much for watching that, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you agree that it was nice. And you can see from the map here, it really is very direct, probably no less direct than taking the main roads, I'd imagine. Um, if you enjoyed that, please do hit subscribe on the channel. really supports the channel. And uh, let me know if you've got any comments. I love to hear from people who watch the videos even if it's just to say that you enjoyed it or if you hated it um, and yeah let me know if you've got any requests for other routes you'd like to see thanks very much and goodbye